Hey guys, and we are back, and our inventory is a lot more full now. Um, I was kind of mining a whole bunch of stuff, so I'm just going to start loading in, like, the seeds, um, the saplings, things I kind of really would like to keep. I know, it's the weird stuff, but still, the things I would like to keep um, for us to have, and whoa, those are the giant spruce trees. Because, yeah, we can say the Decidus Forest. So, yeah, deciduous, deciduous forest. So, yeah, let's just kill all these chikens. And let's just cook their meat because I don't have anything to eat. I was thinking about making a temporary wheat farm, too, inside of that little tiny chicken farm base. Which may not be half bad of an idea. Um, I may still do it. Why am I doing that? I meant to use heat control. Wow. Anyway, don't ask me what I was doing because I have no idea. Um, yeah, so let's switch out you for you. Kill you. <gasps> More mushrooms. And I'm like, I moved a little bit closer to spawn after my chicken farm. Um, spawn is like the opposite direction of, it's like, whoa, this is a lot. Let's see what I can do. Okay, guys, so we are back. Sorry about that. Apparently, when I was doing stuff with the axes, it kind of lagged us up a little bit, as you guys could have seen, because the chickens, like, stopped moving at all, and all you hear is just the explosions. Um, I apologize for that. That was not my intention to have us lag out. Really was not. Um, so, yeah, I'm just now heating up all the chicken I got, mainly to clear up an inventory slot. And let's start mining some of these mossy cobblestone. Actually, no, because I can easily create a cobble generator, so we don't really need to do that. Let's just keep on going. Um, this way. I would love, honestly, if I could have a home that was, once again, as far away as our last home for the survival series. We will have to be restarting now. So, this is kind of survival series. Number six. Restart. Yeah. Oh, and somebody apparently is over here killing chickens, and I will carry on your job for you. But I destroyed that one. Yeah, somebody came through here recently, apparently was killing a whole bunch of chickens. Let's follow this track and see if maybe we can find anyone. Then we could kill them and take their stuff. I mean, that's not nice, but... I mean, the server did just restart. It would be nice to have some better gear. We'll just see what happens. If we find someone, well, I do have a very high sword and a MC MMO skill with the axes. That's all I'm saying. Okay, so Lightning is about to join on, he told me. Um,. I think that we should allow him to come and get a whole bunch of stuff from us. He said that he really is just going to kind of hang out and wait till we get a faction base. So, yeah. I don't know. I may... Well, because he's not an avatar, so we can't do that. Never mind. I was going to maybe have him do a certain trick that I... It's not really a glitch. It just is like a combination of moves that if you use it in a certain way, you can like travel really easy like super far really quick um now i was gonna have him do that but it requires earth and air bending of which he just has air bending i think yeah he just has air bending um so he would not be able to do that so never mind surprised i haven't found anything else like all we found is chickens no sheep no pigs, no cows, no anything really. And even if it was nighttime, I didn't find any mobs. I heard talk that they were going to possibly uh, even take down like the spawn rate of animals even more. But yet, I've encountered hundreds of chickens, so I don't think they've taken down the spawn rate. It, I don't know why it's just only chickens that are spawning. I mean, that's kind of weird. I mean, not that I mind it, because I'm able to easily kill them. But still. 
So yeah, if you guys do join on the server, you will most likely be getting a whole bunch of cooked chicken from me. Probably some feathers here and there too. Um, but oh yeah, I got some string whenever we were mining, or uh, when we were excavating earlier. One of the drops I got was string. So I'm thinking about making a fishing rod here in a bit after we hand off a whole bunch of stuff to lightning. And um, getting us some fish that we can sell at the shop. Now once again, sugar cane, sugar cane. Put that inside the bag. Here we go. Oh, never mind. I took that out of the bag apparently. <laughs> Let's get some more brown mushrooms. Brown mushrooms are used in a potion that I like, so that's why I like to have them so much. And my herbalism skill went up again, and I'm still rank one. So just make sure. Yes, we do have a set home. No, 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 no. One became slash home home, not slash home chickens. Hmm. Yeah, we need lightning. He said he's getting on, just that he had to update something with his Minecraft. I don't know. I didn't ask. Yeah, we have a full inventory. I'm about to check where I am, so I'm going to probably cut it out for about three seconds, so that way you guys don't see what cords I have. Yeah, decent. I don't remember the cords of spawn, so I can't remember how far I've actually... Oh, we can fly with a feather? See, because I know that you can't really um, fly with, like, tools and stuff in your hands. <gasps> Finally! An animal besides, uh, whatchamacallit, chickens. Which I had, like, not enough stuff to actually pick up any of the drops, but, you know, that's not what matters. Wait, why do I have melon seeds? My inventory. Thank you. That needs to go up there. What else can I put up there? Nothing. Lightning hurry. We have 18 brown mushrooms sitting on the ground. Well, correction... Blue talking about how Earth Shard does six hearts of damage. It does two hearts per a whatever you th per uh, Earth block that you shoot. Um, so like the maximum you can do is yes three. Let's do slash TP accept. Let's do slash F I A lightning. Whoa, lots of lightnings. Um, lightning. Three, two, one, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, he joined. So let's prom promote lightning. Three, two, one, oh. To member. To an officer. And he's here to get stuff. So let's just give him a whole bunch of stuff. And I'll. This is boring, so I'll probably cut back to whenever I'm done with all this. And we are done with all that. Lightning said he's going to go sit at spawn so that way no one can kill him. Um, yeah, if I remember correctly, we need to keep on going this direction. I'm just once again going to check the cords. So I'll be right back. Yeah, we are still going the right direction. Let's put some of that stuff up there. Cows! Okay, let's kill them.
Oh, and Manos is online. The boss man himself. There are no more cows? No more cows? Seriously? I only got 14 steak and 5 leather. Wow, I was about to say, but Manos don't get upset with you, it's my ping blue. Wait, was it just his ping or was his pong too? I'm gonna be AFK for a second, so let's double check that I have Warrior Stance on. Okay, I do. Let's get me up there to the top of the tree where it's gonna be like super hard for anyone to get to me. Okay, I'll be right back. I think so he just now ran into one of the co owners who coincidentally was in full diamond gear. Hmm. Hmm. Nice to know how things work. He also said that since he cannot access the inner chest, he's looking for an inner chest, but he can't find any anywhere. Apparently, he also said you can now sell raw chicken at a uh, shop, so he said he may be selling some of the raw chicken we got, which I said I'm completely okay with. And we are back. Um, there we go. Lightning has been spamming, almost. Um, the fact that he cannot access the inner chest at spawn, and yet no staff member has responded yet which is kind of bugging me because like seriously that's kind of your job and he said he's trying to put a lot of our stuff inside of the inner chest but that he can't access it which really honestly super bugs me that he can't do that Nobody's answered lightning yet, so he just still is asking his questions. Somebody answer lightning. Well, how about an owner check? If you ain't sure, then find out. There's stat or the owner is online. You can ask the owner. Oh, and we're lagging out again. I'll see you guys back in just a bit. Yep, heavy lag. Super low frames. Of which, the final conclusion to the answer of what's going on uh, with... The whole entire ender chest is that you just have to make one because the ones that spawn aren't working. So, thanks. Wish I would have known that before. I mean, I, I kind of did, but at the same time, it just kind of bugs me because, like, they don't really give you the. They took away, they no longer sell obsidian at warp shop so you can't buy the obsidian there and then they sell the ingredients for the eye of ender but they took away the obsidian it's nice enough to go out and and the ender pearls are crazy expensive apparently lightning's grumpy can't buy obby i'm just watching their conversation right now it 
ale goes, why do we have to make it like that whenever you can just buy the ingredients? That's when you just call up a lava bender. Yeah, and then you have to spend all the money buying iron so that way you can make the buckets. <sighs> Just wow. This tree is too large. Well, I don't want to have to work on cutting down the too large trees. So instead, let's come up here and let's just cut down some of the not too large trees. Because it counts like multiple trees as one entity sometimes, and that's why you can have that message occur in the Darkwood Forest. Yeah, it will. What crazy means by that is that now everything in a faction costs money. Like, if you want to create a faction, $100. If you want to set a uh, relationship with another faction, like say you want to ally them, $250. You want to kick somebody from the faction, $20. The only thing it does not cost money to do with factions right now is invite someone. And I swear if they make that start costing money, I'm not going to be happy. And it's like 250 with each faction, so that way each faction now has to have $250. So it makes $500 needed in total, which now makes me feel even worse for crazy because he gave me $250 after he already spent $250 to set up the thing. It's just, I don't know, I don't like it. And it's like you can't buy like in-game money at the donation store, so I don't know like what the owners are getting out of this, except for to make it more difficult for the players in survival if it was not already hard enough. I mean, yes, they added in some new items that you can sell at the shop, but they also took away half of the really easy ones that you could get and sell. For example, baked potatoes, you can no longer sell them. You can only sell normal potatoes, and you don't get anywhere near as much money, in my opinion, which is kind of sad. You can now sell apples, but it's not worth it for all of the potions and stuff you can make with apples, and the fact that you can make god apples and then make even more potions. So, we'll just have to see. On this episode, to run a little bit late, so I will see you guys back in a little bit. I may keep on running that direction off cam, just because I want to get out really, really far back to where our old base was, basically with cords. So I will see you guys next time.